Hello to the Nation Deck PlayStation Nation here to talk to you guys over a little bit of a mod spotlight. I am here in the mod spotlight world, and today we're going to be doing the top 20 Minecraft mini mods. And this is going to be for version Minecraft 1.8. Any of the newest versions, all of these mods should be updated for. Now, in this video, we're going to be covering five mods here. We're going to be covering these five, and you guys can click any of the annotations I will leave on screen, as well as the playlist that's going to be available in the description showing all of the other uh, top five type style or uh, top 20 uh, mods so this one's gonna be demoing these five and then you guys will see the other videos showing the other 15 mods all of which are compatible with the newest version of Minecraft guys same version they're all compatible I could even throw them in this version of Minecraft but uh, you know 20 mods in one video would be a little bit much so maybe you guys should go check out those ones uh, and that those will be the other 15 so anyway hopefully you guys do enjoy make sure you guys slam that like button down below subscribe join the nation all that jazz check out my Minecraft server if you guys would like to but anyway let's get Get started so here we go in no particular order we're gonna go through these guys I want to go over this one first just because it involves us leaving Minecraft and coming back into it but this is the in-game account switcher by defense guys so all you guys got to do is quit out of your Minecraft and click this button so currently uh, if you guys look I am currently logged in as dr. PlayStation but if I were to go over here and hit the plus button now keep in mind this needs to be the plus button on your keyboard or sorry on your on your on your keyboard Wow uh, it needs to be the plus button on your numpad uh, I noticed it wasn't working uh, for the other one. Um, so you can't just hit that. You need to hit shift plus button. Uh, so make sure that you're actually inputting the plus, not just hitting the plus button, uh, which could be a sort of thing that could be fixed in the mod. But in any case, uh, you're going to type in your username, which is going to be, you know, test uh, at test.com. So that's going to be your email, hopefully. Then you guys will need to hit enter to go down to the next line. So let's type in our password test and then you hit enter boom it'll be added there and then if you were to hit enter it would log in now of course this is not going to work because this is an invalid credentials but if you guys did have alternate accounts that you guys like to use and didn't want to exit your minecraft every time you guys can drop those in there and have as many as you want so this is kind of pretty this is pretty convenient for those of you who do have multiple accounts especially those who run minecraft servers and need to um need to have multiple accounts to be able to test different perm levels and all that sort of stuff so that's that one uh, we're also then going to go back here Turn that on, boom. So now we're going to start over here, the Durability Viewer by Falling Dutchman. Falling Dutchman made this Durability Viewer, as you guys can see, when something does lose some durability, you guys will notice it there, and I'm going to put these guys on, so as you guys can see, because I'm creative, it just duplicated, but you guys can see at the top of my screen, hopefully, you guys will see, you know, 364 for the Durability, 241, you guys will see this sword here, uh, it has 249 right here, and as I use it, it will go down further and further. Quite convenient, something I really do like. Now, if you guys do want to configure this more, you guys will be able to uh, go out here to the light loader actually I didn't need to go all the way back out here but I could have you guys click here uh, draw draw durability string so you guys will actually be able to process a durability like number uh, display the current dur durability as a normal number or percentage value I might like percentage value better or normal number it really is gonna depend size of the display font uh, display font you guys can do it small font or the uh, large font is disabled durability hotbar uh, then you guys can pick what color you'd like all that sort of stuff you guys can also pick um you can pick your current armor uh, to do a n number or percent so it doesn't have to be for both uh, where to draw your armor HUD and top center right of your hotbar left of your hotbar so I might like left of my hotbar a little bit better or maybe right of my hotbar would be kind of interesting uh, and then you can do a save and close and then boom there you go we can drop right back in and as you guys can see boom there we go it changed to the right of my hotbar which is kind of interesting I like that and uh, we could have even changed the font if we would have liked so again we want to do uh, this so that we can use commands moving on to the next one we got the lumberjack mod guys so the lumberjack mod is gonna be quite interesting so anyway guys we're gonna switch ourselves out of game mode and uh, actually we're gonna switch ourselves back to game mode to give ourselves some more of this bone meal here uh, so we're gonna place we're gonna place some of these oak saplings here to show you guys exactly how this is gonna work we're going to place ourselves some of these spruce saplings in these little squares here to show you guys how it would work in that scenario. We're going to switch ourselves back out and, you know, we're going to start using this. Boom, there we go. Holy crap, that's a big tree. Uh, we're going to use this here for these trees here. Let's see if we can get a big one. See if we can get a big one just to be able to show you guys that. So there we go. We got a little bit of a bigger one and big tree. Okay, anyway. Well, if you guys have the axe like so, you guys will be able to walk up to them. And just by clicking on them, as you guys can see, boom, it's going to take out the entire thing. And as you guys saw, these two trees were together. So it's actually going to 
it's actually going to um, break like that entire section there. So these two trees are apart, so it won't do that. So as you guys can see, I'm just going to break that. Boom, it's going to bring it all down. And if you guys look at the durability, it's a good thing we got that durability installed. Because if you guys look at it, it's at 1555 right now. So I'm going to break this, and it's only going to bring it down one durability. And did that just drop string? Okay, it looks like it just dropped string from that. But, um... It only brought it down the one durability. So that has been in an update, a recent update for this mod that it's actually going to uh, bring it down the appropriate amount. So you guys can uh, stay in, stay tuned for that. By the time you guys are checking this out, it will it should bring it the durability down the appropriate amount rather than, uh, you know, just doing one each time because that is a little bit OP. Um, and then also they want to make it so that the time will be extended. So that should be added very soon. Anyway, so we, got, we just got all of that wood in a very short period of time, which is quite cool. It also broke all of the leaves for us, which is quite interesting, and I do like that. So we're going to throw all of that stuff sort of back in here, because uh, I don't want this anymore. Moving on to the next one, we got more wooden crafting tables. So as you guys can see, boom, we got these guys. Now, this might be something that you never thought that you would need. More wooden crafting tables. Why would I need that? This is pretty much each of these uh, recipes is going to be crafted with the various types of wood. Pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Uh, so you got your default crafting bench. Then you're going to move over. You're going to have, you know, your your various others. I think this so this would be uh, dark oak, right? And this would be your spruce. And then you're going to have your, you know, birch. And then you have your acacia. Da, 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 da. And then, or sorry, jungle wood, acacia, and then. Uh, what would this one be? Here we go. Hold on, we're gonna go through. So this is your spruce, and this is your oak, uh, and this is the, oh, this is just the generic crafting table if you put together multiple of them, and this is your straight oak. Okay, there we go. We figured it out. But uh, anyway, you guys have all your different kinds, and personally, I really do like this. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, my personal favorite would probably be the dark oak. I think it just looks so much different, and I really like it. But everybody's free to their own opinion. So anyway, that's the difference there with that and I do really like those so anyway now moving on to our final our last guy here and this is gonna be the oh, sorry we didn't say this one was by syntaxial and the lumberjack mod was by failender uh, this one is the convenient recipes mod by jag m underscore 11 that s was a typo it is just jag m underscore 11 and this is actually gonna make it quite easy for you to be able to craft various things like this so I I threw in a bunch of these random items there is more that you guys can check like packed ice it increases the amount of stairs that you get per time crafting uh, it gives you a ton of other cool stuff, so make sure you guys check it out. But uh, you guys will be able to craft things that previously you weren't able to before. You know, diamond horse iron, uh, or diamond gold and iron horse armor. You guys will be able to craft that. This will be the recipe for gold and iron. You just change out these diamonds uh, for uh, the you know proper item. You guys will have saddles, which you know will be craftable now. You guys have chain mail, which can be crafted with iron bars. You guys will have the cobblestone walls instead of just giving you, I believe it gave you six before. It's actually going to give you 18. Uh, so that's kind of cool. You guys will have the blocks of quartz, which you can turn uh, from uh, quartz into blocks and then also from blocks back into quartz. So that's quite convenient. Convenient. Uh, cracked stone, you guys will just be able to smelt stone and turn it into cracked stone. You guys will be able to craft sponges so they're not only from uh, the new 1.8 guardians. You guys will actually be able to craft them with a wool, a raw fish, and a prismarine shard. On top of that, prismarine shards will be craftable with a raw fish, flint, and lapis. So that's kind of cool. It's interesting. You guys will also be able to craft the um, prismarine crystals, which is going to be a raw fish, glowstone, dust, and lapis. Uh, so anyway, we got all of those various items. So those are pretty much all the the main ones that I wanted to show you guys You guys will have a ton of other things that you guys can craft like you guys can craft the mossy cobblestone uh, You guys will be able to craft things like again the other types of horse armors You guys will be able to craft why didn't I was supposed to have a piece of glass here to show you guys the glass recipe Because I thought that was kind of cool But uh, the glass recipe if you guys check this out is actually going to be uh, you guys will be able to there we go, craft glass panes into a piece of glass. So uh, anyway guys, that is this five out of the top 20. Make sure you guys go check out the other uh, top uh, mod videos guys, which will show you the other 15 that are currently out. So you guys can click those and maybe even check uh, you know, the, the, the annotations and whatnot for a top 25, top 30. I'm gonna keep this series going because it seems like you guys really do like it. But anyway, hopefully you guys do enjoy. I am the doctor, that was my phone falling on the ground and I'm out. Bye.